guys and welcome back to my channel. Sorry it has been a hot minute since I have posted a video. It's been crazy. Christmas, New Year's and all that kind of stuff and to be honest I've been very very lazy and lacking a bit of motivation so yeah you know just the normal kind of things but we're back and I am going to start doing more regular videos now for you guys. Um, but anyway, this video I'm doing a pepper mayo haul for you guys. I did ask you on my Instagram stories whether you wanted a pepper mayo haul or a boohoo haul first and you all wanted the pepper mayo haul so that is what I'm bringing you today. The boohoo haul will be coming soon though so do make sure you subscribe to my channel and also follow me on Instagram to keep up to date of when that's coming. Also just wanted to mention that I did change my Instagram name for those of you who have noticed. I used to be the short but crazy one on Instagram but now I have changed it to Jordana Morandin. I have just finished my musical theatre degree and I just thought it was time to be more professional with my social media handles. And I just thought changing my name to Jordana Morandin on my Instagram was just the best option for me, especially for when down the track I get a job or something and they post about me, I want them to post Jordana Morandon and I want to be known as like my name and not the short but crazy one because I just think it just gets a bit confusing then, um, people not knowing my actual name and yeah, I just want to be known for my name I guess. Um, so yeah, that's the reason why I changed it, like not a very big deal. It's sad that I did have to change it though because I really loved being the short but crazy one, I thought that was a really cool name. And I've been that for so long, it's so weird to see my Instagram and see Jordana Miranda and I'm like, this looks really strange. But anyway, that's fine. On to bigger and better things now. It's a new era with my name as my Instagram handle. Um, but anyway, enough of that. Let's just get straight into the Pepper Mayo haul first. Okay guys, so the first item is the top that I'm wearing right now and I am so obsessed with this top. It's like the perfect cut as well and it's super thin material but it's not see-through. Like you can wear a nude bra and you're not going to see it at all which is just amazing. I 100% thought this top was going to be see-through and I was like, uh -huh. But I tried it on and I put my bra underneath it and it was fine. Like you literally can't see it at all. I don't know if I'd wear white but definitely nude bras work perfectly. But my favourite thing about this top is the back. It's got like this really stunning low back and you can wear a bra and you still don't see it. Like it just covers perfectly which is just amazing. And it just like makes a plain basic white top just like that little bit like extra and I just think that's really really nice. And then to go with this top I got this skirt here and I just love the silk material at the moment and it like hugs your waist but then like comes out at the bottom and I have quite a big bump so I need skirts like this and it's just like so perfect and it fits me so perfectly. I got this top in a size 6 by the way, forgot to mention that and then I also got this skirt in a size 6 too and it also has like a little slit down the bottom here and little flowery details on it so I'll try this one on for you guys and show you what it looks like. Okay so this is the whole outfit together now. I just paired it with this gold belt. This isn't from Pepper Mayo but I just really love this gold belt with it. It just kind of makes it like a little bit more fancy I guess. It just ties the outfit all together so I really love that. But yeah this is the skirt here. I am so obsessed with it. I love this little slit. I think it just makes the skirt. And then the whole back there as well. And it just like fits me so perfectly. So if you are someone that has like a smaller waist but then a bigger bum or bigger legs, these skirts are just perfect for you because they just sit so nicely and they're not tight on your legs or your bum, like they're really, really comfy. So yeah, I really, really love this outfit together. Okay, so the next thing that I got to pair with this top as well are these shorts. And if you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen me post a photo in this top and these shorts as well. And I just like, I am so obsessed with these shorts. Let me just fix that. Okay, so these are the shorts here. I just get like a vintage summery vibe from these shorts, like an old school um, summer vacation kind of situation. But I, I just love these. And I got these ones in a size 8, I think, just because they came with this belt. They came with this belt here and I just thought I can just tighten it around my waist but then it's going to be nice and loose on my bum and my thighs. So I definitely recommend going up a size if you have a bigger bum than you do waist kind of thing. So yeah, I just really, really love these. And they have pockets here which are real at the front but I'll show you better. It's really hard for me to show you not wearing them but I'll put them on for you guys and I'll show you how they look with this top as well. Okay, so these are the shorts on here with the top. 
and I just I love them so much and this is the back here like they're the perfect length they cover your bum very very nicely and they just like I just like love this look and I just think I'll be wearing this so much this summer and I already had them wearing these non-stop these are probably my favorite shorts because they're so comfy and you can like adjust it on your waist for however you like these are the pockets here I probably wouldn't use them but like if you want pockets they're there for your use <laughs> Um, but yeah, I just think these are really, really stunning and like they just go perfectly with this top. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to show you guys is this dress here. It'll be easier to show you on, but this is it here. So this is the top and it has like these little puffy kind of sleeves which you can tie up however you want. And then a ribbed detailing here, like a stretching material. And then it goes down to like this beautiful lace detailing here. It's just like a super flowy kind of summery dress it's really really lightweight as well and the fabric is like linen i'd say it feels like linen but i'm not quite sure and i got this one in a size six as well so yeah i will try this on for you guys and show you what it looks like on okay so this is the dress on and as you can see it is quite low cut here so i would wear like double-sided sticky tape or like a bikini top underneath or whatever but it's whatever you feel comfortable with kind of thing um but that's just what i would do i really really love this though in saying that i could, probably could get away with not wearing double-sided tape because it hugs you really nicely and then it comes down and is quite tight around your waist here and it's just like the perfect fit honestly um and you can tie these up and you can tie um, the sleeves up if you want to. I've let this one loose and then I've tied this one up so you can see what that one looks like there. But it's all adjustable so you can make it tighter or looser or whatever you want. But yeah, that is the top of it. And I will show you guys the full outfit. Let me just move my camera. Okay, so this is the full dress here. It's just so perfect. It literally fits me so nicely. I'm not sure if I mentioned but I got this one in a size 6. And then that is the back there. And I just love this little detailing at the bottom. I just think this is so nice and like the perfect summer beach dress. So yeah, that is the full dress here. Okay, so the next dress I'm going to show you is this one here. And I wore this one on Christmas and it's literally like the perfect Christmas dress. It literally looks like a picnic blanket, but I'm so there for it. I just love it so much. It's like the perfect picnic kind of day dress and I just think this is so cute. Um, I got this one in a size 6 as well. I probably could have gone an 8. It is a bit tight around my belly, but that's probably just the Christmas weight. So we'll just let that be. <laughs> um, but yeah, I just, I love this one so much. So it goes in at your waist and then it goes flowy at the bottom. And I just love that. It is low cut as well here, but like hugs you around your chest area really, really nicely. But yeah, I will try this one on for you guys and show you what it looks like. Okay, so this is the top of the dress here and I just think it looks so flattering on me and I think the sleeves look really, really flattering on me as well and I am all about anything that makes me look nice and slim. So, <laughs> And then I love the cutout here. It is quite low cut so you can put double sided tape. You don't want them falling out but it is quite secure so I don't think I would put double sided tape on it but yeah, I wore this for Christmas and it was just amazing and yes and then i'll show you guys the rest of the dress so this is the full length of the dress and as you can see it is quite like tight around like this area not like so much my waist but just like this area so after a big feed on christmas it did get quite tight but i don't know if i'd go up to size now putting it back on again i think that it is fine but you know i just need to like lose the christmas weight and then we'll be okay um so yeah it's kind of got like these pleats here so it kind of looks like a like a tennis skirt or a netball skirt kind of vibe but i just really really love it and then it has the high back like the back zipped up all the way um but yeah i really really am digging this dress okay so this is the next dress here and the last dress as well and then I have a couple of accessories to show you guys um, but this is the dress here and I think I might have gotten this one in a size 8 as well yes I did I got it in a size 8 um, so it has like little tie ups here at the top and I just love this color like I love baby blue so much I think it's so nice and it's like one of my favorite colors to wear and then so it's like that there and then it also has like ruching on like the bottom half of the dress I would have got this in a size 6, but it looked kind of tight around like the bum and legs on the model. So I thought if I went a size up, then I could just put a belt on it, but it would still kind of have like that A-line kind of 
um, fit and I just really like that. I'm not like the biggest fan of tight things around my bum and my waist. I mean my bum and my thighs. Um, so yeah, that's why I went upper size in that one and I definitely recommend doing that if you have the same kind of figure as me. I definitely prefer to put a belt on this and then wear it with a bit looser and like more room around my bum. Um, so yeah, but I will try this one on for you guys and show you what it looks like on. So this is the top of the dress here and I really love the style of this type of dress. I think it's really, really flattering on me and I also love the tie-up detailing here. I just think it's really, really nice and I love the little bows. I think it's a super cute little detail to add to a dress and I am so obsessed with the color as well. I'm not sure if you guys can see, but it kind of has like a linen type of material to it as well. It's not like fully linen, but um, it definitely has linen in there. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so it makes it really, really breathable and lightweight, which I love. And then I've also paired this belt with it as well. So it makes my waist look smaller because it is a size 8. It is a bit big around my waist, but chuck a belt on that and you're fine. So this is the full length of the dress here. And I'm just so obsessed with this ruching detailing. I think it looks really, really slimming and makes everything look smaller than it is. I don't know. Um, I think tight dresses can sometimes be like... They can look good or they just make you look like a sausage. And for me, I just think tight dresses make me look like a sausage. So, yeah, I just love that this is tight but not too tight. And it's not like that, um, like, lycra kind of material that a lot of tight dresses are. So I really appreciate that this is, like, a linen material. Um, so, yeah, I really love this ruching here. And I just paired it with this belt um, to tie in my waist. I just think the gold detailing is really, really nice with this blue. And then I'll show you guys the back of the dress as well. So this is the back so it's still tight on my bum but like it's not too tight like I'm not like struggling to sit down or like move in it or whatever so it's still really really nice and yeah like it doesn't have that fully a line kind of fit but it's still like isn't like skin tight on your ass or your thigh so yeah I really really appreciate that Okay, so um, that was the last dress that I'm going to show you guys. Now I'm going to show you two accessories that I have been completely obsessed with. And the first one is this like claw clip. I think it's called a claw clip. I'm not actually sure what they're called. I don't think it's called a bulldog clip. I thought it was called a bulldog clip, but I'm pretty sure that's like thing that you like hold paper together with. So I don't think it's that. So I think I'm going to call it a claw clip. But this is the claw clip that I got from Pepper Mayo. And I have been looking for like a colored version of these claw clips for so long, but all I could find were like black or like brown or clear or whatever. So I'm literally so obsessed with these. They have more colors, I'm pretty sure. So I'm gonna have to jump on and get some more colors of these. I think they have a mint green one, which I need in my life, but I'm just so obsessed with this pink color. If you follow me on Instagram, you will know that every second photo, I have my hair up in this pink um, claw clip. And I'm just obsessed with it. It holds my hair in so nicely. It is painted on, so I will say it's kind of coming off a little bit, but I'll buy a new one. I don't care. I love this so much. <laughs> the next accessory is this scarf, and I just think this is so gorgeous. It's a bit creased. Sorry about that. Um, but I love the colors. I think the colors are so beautiful, and I just... I love it so much. It's just so soft and silky, and I just like want to wrap myself in it like that. Um, oh, this is quite fancy, actually. This is quite a vibe. I feel like fancy and like luxurious, kind of French. I get a kind of French vibe in this. Um, I would definitely not wear it like this out in public because I just wouldn't. Um, but yeah, I just think this is really, really nice. I'd wear it in my hair, like even like my hair like this, and like tie it around, make it into like a, looks silly like this, but into like a little thing for my hair, like a little hair thing. Um, I'd have a scrunchie in it, so it looks funny. <laughs> um, you'd even wear it like as like a little bow. I'm showing you really stupid examples right now, clearly, but... <laughs> Um, my hair is disgusting at the moment, so I can't really show you any proper ways of how I wear it. But if you look on my Instagram, there are like a million ways that I have worn this or like worn other scarves like this. Um, so yeah, you can wear it like as a headband. You can wear it as like my favorite at the moment is like the peasant vibe where you like wear it like that. Oh, this looks so funny with my hair in a ponytail. But you know, with your hair out and it's like has like that thing at the back. <laughs> I just look like an absolute idiot right now. That's fine. But like. Yeah, I have posted a photo of me wearing it like that on my Instagram and I don't look like a dickhead like I just did then. So check my Instagram out to see how I wore this, but 
yeah, I'm just really obsessed with this and I haven't seen any scarves like this, like in this kind of pastel colors. And I just think this is so beautiful. You could even like tie it onto your bag or something. I could probably do it like as a top as well, I reckon. Like one of those, oh, what? That is so cute. How cute is that? It just came to me then. I can wear this as a top. Okay, so I've literally been talking about this scarf for the last two minutes. So I think I should end the video off here before I ramble on for another two minutes about a scarf. So yeah, clearly I really like this scarf, if you haven't noticed. Um, but yeah, before I end off the video, I do have a discount code for you guys. It is Jordana20. I will leave it down below in the description box. And I will also leave um, all the links and sizes to everything that I got as well. So you guys can check them out and buy them or just have a look on their website because they have some amazing new arrivals like every week. I hope you guys like this video and be prepared to see more hauls coming your way because I love filming hauls. And also... Might I mention that I am moving to Melbourne in like a month's time, which is just crazy. I have nowhere to live. I'm homeless at the moment. Um, so that's really fun. It's quite stressful, but it's going to be really, really great. I just feel like moving to Melbourne is going to fix all my problems and like, I don't know. I just like, I can't wait to kind of be uncomfortable, but in the best way. Like it's super different. I've never moved anywhere. I've lived in Brisbane all my life, but I'm so excited to move to a different state and just like start my life like I just feel like I'm gonna get there and be like oh this is like where I'm meant to be so I'm excited for that feeling and I'm excited to film all the moving vlogs for you guys as well so definitely subscribe to my channel to stay tuned with all of that um but yeah I hope you guys like this video and I will see you in my next one bye